Valley, Missouri, and found it to be a lovely town, particularly with a public square all decorated like this. There's just one thing that bothers me, Bullwinkle. You're lucky I got dozens. Where's all the people? Be hey, that's right. Oh, if Bullwinkle had only known. What do you think, Caleb? Be they floys or be not they floys? Well, my feudin' guide don't list no floys with antlers, but we better not take chances. You mean we plug them anyway? You bet. What if we're wrong? We can always apologize. <laughs> Caleb, you ought to be with the United Nations. Who's feuding with them? Seems like they're near everybody. And meanwhile, on the other side of the square... Speak up, Ephraim. Be they hatfuls or beant they hatfuls? Well, that air big end looks like a hat rack. That's close enough. Ready, aim... Of course, our heroes were blissfully unaware of the danger that threatened them until the sharp-eyed squirrel suddenly remarked... Bullwinkle, these decorations aren't for the Bam Bams at all. Fear not. No, sir. They're commemorating the 150th anniversary of the feud. The feud? You know, it's like a war between families. In Minnesota, we call that in-law trouble. No, look here. In memory of 150 years of bloodshed. Happy anniversary. Who's feuding? Says here it's the Hatfuls against the Floyds. Here's kind of a cute one, Rock. <laughs> There's no feud like an old feud. But our friends wouldn't have been so carefree if they had known that Peaceful Valley was in reality a kind of no man's land in the most ferocious feud ever feuded. Uh, ever fought it, uh, or, uh... Try fit. Uh, yes, ever fit. While we're waiting, I'll take your picture, Bullwinkle. Okay, how's this pose? Great. Wait till I set the lens opening. Well, hurry up and shoot. I can't hold this all day. Let's see, F8 at 100th, or is it 150? Come on, shoot. What? I said shoot, shoot. <laughs> no, that's what I call 30. Bullwinkle, we're right in the middle of the feud. And what's more? What's more? I didn't get my picture took. We gotta get out of town, Bullwinkle. But we just got here. Yeah, but if we stay here much longer, we're gonna stay here much longer. I guess you're right. And our boys crawled under a hail of lead toward the outskirts of town. Rat and at it, get him, can't you hit him? Don't. Them fellers must have charmed lives. You think they was TV heroes. But just then, a messenger ran in. Hey, Paul, Paul. Speak up, Clive, don't mumble. Uh, uh, the boys is shooting at them fellers, too. Well, then they must be on our side. Hold your fire! And at the same time, on the other side of the square... Hey, Ephraim, the Hatfolds are shooting at those fellers, too. Then they must be on our side. Stop shooting! And so a deathly hush suddenly fell over Peaceful Valley. Couldn't you make it some other kind of hush? Now's our chance, Bullwinkle. We gotta make a dash for safety. And there it is now, Rock, the city limit. Careful, Bullwinkle, it may be a trap. A trap? Somebody may be hiding behind that sign. Nonsense, who could hide behind that itty-bitty sign? We could. It's the hat. Didn't I see you fellers stuffed in a telephone booth one time? They're not on our side, Paul. Look at it. They ain't got no beards. But I'm growing a beard. When did you start? Just a minute ago. How about you? I'm a little young. Too bad we're feuding with the youngs, too. Take them away, Caleb. What to? Where else? Take them to Devil Dan Hatful himself. Oh, not Devil Dan. Couldn't we be easy on them and shoot him right here? Be with us next time when we'll see Devil Dan Thinks It Over or Feud for Thought. And if you happen to have a beard handy, Send it in! <laughs> <laughs> 